Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to work on the delete functionality. When user clicks on this delete button, we are going to open up a confirmation dialog and delete the item when the user confirms. So if I go into the Jetstream user profile, we have this delete account button over here. I want my delete button to use the same design. So let us see how they are doing. So if I go into the profile and this is a button that they are using. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to use it in my view over here. I will replace this delete text with the this button and I'll change the text to delete. And this is the click method and I'm going to change this to item and I'm going to pass the item ID to this method by wrapping it up in the curly braces. And now I'll need to define this method. I'll define it over here in our component. This method takes an ID and I'll change this ID to use route model binding and change this to item. And now what I will do is I'll just delete this item. All right, let's uh, test this. I'm going to delete this uh, item with ID 4. So when I click on this delete button, we see that item is deleted and list is rendered again however what i would like to do is that if we go to this if we click on this delete account method we get this confirmation dialog and the user has the option to cancel it or delete it so we would like to do the same so let's see how they are doing in jetstream if we see they have this uh, plate component with dialog so this is uh, used in Jetstream to display the dialog model. So let us see how Jetstream is using it. Uh, they have this uh, flag and this should be a live wire property and this should be set to true when you want to open this dialog box. So on the click of this method, they are setting this property to true and we will be following the same terminology that is being used by them. So let's go into our component and first of all create this flag. I'll change this to user and I will initially set this to false. And when the user clicks on this button, I will set this flag to false. I'm also going to remove this delete. And I'll also change this route model binding to simple ID. In fact, I'm going to change this flag from false to, I'm going to use this ID that is being passed. So now I'll copy this up and I'll paste it in my view over here and now I'll make some text changes this should be item I'll remove this up and I'll change this text to use item and I'm going to use the flag that I just created this should match this flag and on the click of this I'm going to call this delete item method that I'm going to create I'll pass uh, the value of this flag which holds the ID for the item to be deleted and for this cancel one I'm going to 
toggle i'm going to set this flag back to false so that our dialog box closes i change this to delete and now if i reload the browser click on this delete the dialog box open up if i click on this never mind the dialog box closes and if i click on this delete oh well we get an error because we haven't defined the delete item method so let us do that in our component we are calling this one on the click so i'm going to create this delete item method and this would of course take the id for the item to be deleted and i'm going to use route model binding to change it to item itself and here i'm going to delete the item and after that i'm going to set this flag to false so that the dialog box closes so let us reload our browser i'm going to delete this item with id 5 so if i click on delete there we go the dialog box closes and the item has been deleted so with that our functionality has been implemented successfully